let's get right to it. We'll talk about that. Um, no, I didn't, I didn't know uh, anything about the books um, until I last audition and looked at mine and, and had a look at and found out it's this vast world. Um, and yeah, but it's, it's the more I read and the more I saw, um, I went onto Twitter and obviously there's a, a great following there and Facebook as well. Um, and their support has been absolutely fantastic. Um, and it was actually one of the first times I met one of the fans in, in, uh, down in London. I went to a screening and uh, she turned up and that was kind of the first day I realized, oh my God, that there's fans out there and this means a lot to a lot of people. Um, so yeah, it's really exciting to have that whole you know, wealth of Diane's writing, all this material to sort of base the characters on. Um, and then also the historical side as well, so it's, it's a gift for an actor. Really. Katrina, address that. Is it intimidating to know that uh, everyone who has read the book has a very specific idea in their head of Claire? Um, I don't know that it's intimidating. I mean, you know, I, you know, I grew up being an avid reader, you know, books that I've loved, and um, I think, you know, we're not taking that image away from anyone. You know, you will still always have that with you, and I, I think that that's the important thing to remember. It's like, that person that you fell in love with first will always be there for you. This is a different thing, hopefully, we expound upon that world, and I mean, I, I the only thing is I, I hope I do it justice, and, you know, I love this role, and I, I love the job that I'm doing, but um, I can only do my best, so, <laughs> Well, we've already addressed it, and obviously we've already seen it, you know, because Moran is wearing it right now. Lana, can you talk 